In this video, we're going to create code in Excel VBA that runs automatically each time a workbook that contains that code is opened. So you can see here, I currently have a workbook and on this sheet here, I have orders. I have a column for order number, order amount, and the sheet name is the date of those orders. So I have sheet names for the past three days of orders. I have one for the 28th and one for the 29th. Currently the date as of today is October 30th, 2022. So what I want to do is create code so that each time this workbook is opened, it will check to see if there is already a sheet name with today's date. If there is not, what this code will do when the workbook is opened is it will add a new sheet, give it a name of today's date, and then add headers for order number and order amount and apply this same formatting style that you see here on one of these already existing sheets. If the sheet already exists, we want our code to simply display a message box that says sheet is already here. So the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by hitting Alt F11 on your keyboard or going to the developer ribbon and clicking this visual basic button. Now here is where things will be a little different. Typically when we talk about VBA, we're normally going to the project window, right clicking and inserting a new module. But this is actually an event that is specific to the workbook. So rather than inserting a module, I'm going to double click on this workbook in this editor that will appear in this first drop down list, I'm going to select workbook and you can see it defaults to a private subroutine for the workbook open event, which is actually what we want. So all the code within this subroutine is what will run or execute when this workbook is open. If we wanted something other than a workbook open event, we could select it from the second drop down list here, but this is actually what we want. So specifically what we want to do is loop through all of the existing sheets on our workbook and check to see if there is a sheet name that already exists with today's date as the sheet name. So we really want to perform a test and see if that is true or false. So what we need to do below this subroutine is create a function. So it begins with the keyword function and we'll give this function a name of sheet exists. We're going to have one input, which is the sheet name. It's going to be as the data type string. And then the data type of this function is going to be Boolean because this returns either true or false. So what we're going to do is create our function and then perform our function up here in this workbook open event subroutine. So we're going to create a variable called WS for worksheet. It's going to be as the data type worksheet just represents each individual worksheet in our collection of existing sheets on our workbook. So we're going to perform a for each loop because we want to look at each worksheet in our collection of worksheets and test if any of those worksheet names are equal to the input of our sheet exist function. So that's our one parameter we defined called sheet name. If that is the case, if that sheet name exists, then we want our function to return a value of true. We'll 
end our if statement and then the keyword next to go to the next sheet because this will begin our loop at our first worksheet check to see if the name is equal to the input of our function if it's not it's gonna keep running until it finds it if it does not find it at all we'll just be finished with this loop and that will be that it will return a value of false so now we are ready to shift back to our workbook open event subroutine up top here so we're going to begin by declaring some variables our first variable is going to be called wb for workbook it's going to be as the data type workbook if i can type here our next variable is going to be called worksheet count it's going to be as the data type integer our third variable is going to be called sheet name which is the input we're going to feed to our sheet exist function when we use it later in our code so that is going to be as the data type string because the sheet name is a string so we're going to begin by setting our workbook object variable that is going to be equal to this workbook the one we're in now our worksheet count variable is going to be equal to our workbook variable and then worksheets and then count our sheet name variable is going to be equal to today's date formatted in a month two digit day four digit year format so we're going to use the now function now this by itself just returns today's date with a timestamp value so we're going to nest this inside the format function which has two inputs the first one is the thing we want to format which is the output of the now function and then the second input is the format we want it in so we have our date format there then we have an if condition we want to test to see if the output of our sheet exist function that we created earlier is true or false so we have our input which is going to be our sheet name variable here and we want to see if that is equal to false because if it's false it means no sheet exists when we open our workbook that contains today's date so if that is the case then we want to add a sheet with today's date so we reference our workbook and then worksheets and we're going to use the add method now it has inputs for where we want to add that sheet what we want to do is add it after the last sheet and currently in our workbook so the first argument is before so I'm gonna hit a comma to get to the second argument so again we're gonna reference workbook and worksheets and then for the index or sheet name what we're gonna use is our worksheet count variable because that variable holds the count of all the worksheets on our workbook when we open this and this will add our new worksheet with the date name after the last index number which it right now that's three we have three sheets so that's going to add that right after that last sheet finally we want to set the name of this new sheet equal to our sheet name variable which holds today's date formatted the way we want it so now what we want to do with this new worksheet we just added is add headers and add formatting to cells a1 and b1 so we're going to do multiple things to this sheet so with this 
workbook worksheets and then our sheet name variable with range a1 we're gonna add the value order number with range B1 I'm gonna set that equal to order amount we're going to auto fit all of the columns and with range A1 to B1 To do two things. First, we're going to set the border line style to XL continuous to add borders all around, and then we're going to set the interior color equal to VB yellow. So that is everything we want to do with that new sheet that gets added. So we're going to end our with statement. Now we're back referencing our if condition. So we did everything if the sheet name sheet exist function equals false now if it's true the sheet already exists we just want to have an else statement here and display a message box that says sheet already here so we're going to end our if statement and that should be everything we need so i'm going to hit save I'm going to close out of this. So currently our three sheets, the most recent date is October 29th, 2022. Today is October 30th. So when I reopen this workbook, we should see a new sheet get added for October 30th, 2022 with headers formatted. And there it is, October 30th, 2022. Blow this up a little bit. So you can see there are headers. So I'm going to hit save and close out of this one more time. And now that sheet is already there. So this time when I open it, we should just get that message sheet already here. Well, that is all for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.